Let's jump right into our seminar, gang. Today's about how do you set your drag. Now, we're not talking about competition fishing. We're not talking about tournament fishing marlin. We're not talking about all that. We're talking about the average guy that goes fishing for the day on a charter boat or goes fishing on his own boat or goes fishing no matter what. If you're fishing in a lake, a stream, or out on your boat, it's super important to understand how to check your drag. The way I do it, and you can do it any way you want. There's a million videos, million people showing you how. I fish every single day. This is how I do it. So there's a million ways to do it. This is Dave's way. I grab the reel. I pull on the line. If the line comes out real easy like that, the line comes off the reel very, very easy like that. Doesn't cut into my hand. I know the drag's not quite tight enough. I'll tighten it up a little bit more. Get a little bit more clicks on there. Give it a little pull. Now it's a little bit harder, but it's still coming off too easy. So I'm gonna give it another couple of clicks. Now I'm gonna grab it. Now it's coming out, but it's not coming out easy. So I know that it's not gonna break the line. I know I can pull it off of there. It's not cinched down, it'll still come out. Now I know that it's gonna handle the fish that I'm fishing for. I'm using 40 pound braided line. I'm gonna use a top, a piece of floral carbon on the end of my 40 pound braid, maybe a piece of 40 pound or a piece of 30 pound, something like that on the end of that, on the end of floral carbon. I already know how to tie my knot, so I know the knot's not gonna break. But I grab the line and I pull it off the reel and if it comes off steadily, but it comes off and it's not tight and the line doesn't cut into my hand, then I know the drag set proper. But if it's, take another click or two and pull on it again, if it's still coming out of there, then it's still just a tad bit too loose. We're gonna give it another couple clicks in there. Now, Edwin, pull on it like a fish. So the line starts coming off the reel. I'm bit. I grab the end and I pull on it. I go, oh yeah, that's smooth. Or it's not, it's too tight right now. Like Edwin's pulling on it, but the line's not coming off the reel, but you can feel the tip of the rods really getting a lot of torque on it. I'll take a couple clicks off. Give it a little hand there. Now I know it's smoother. That's the good thing about a star drag reel also is you can adjust the drag throughout the bite. Or excuse me, throughout the fight. With a two-speed reel with a lever drag, it's almost impossible to adjust the drag throughout the battle because you're moving that lever back and forth. It's hard. That's why I like star drags much better. But I know most of you have those two-speed lever, lever drag reels. It's going to be a little tougher. You're not going to be able to really adjust it throughout the battle. The star drag, much easier for that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to constantly be giving it a little pull while I'm hooked up to make sure that it's not sticking, that the drag didn't get. Sometimes when it heats up, when the fish takes that initial run real quick, it might heat up and then it might get sticky depending on how often you use your reel. So you're going to want to keep going back to it during the fight. Give it a little pull with your hand, see how it's feeling. Then put the bend back in the rod. Wind a little bit. He's starting to pull, starting to pull hard. And you're like, God, it's not moving. You give it a little pull. You're like, oh, it's a little too tight. I back it off just a hair, just enough. You want to make sure that you're always able to pull line off the reel. If the drag is too tight, when you go to pull and there's no give, it'll break your line every time. And you do not want to use your thumb as, an indi as a drag. That's the worst thing you could ever do. If you fish proper with your left hand in front of the reel, I know... I know your sister's brother's aunt's cousin told you to put your left hand behind the reel and your thumb on your spool. I wouldn't brag about it, gang. That's wrong. And oh, I know you've been doing it that way for a hundred years. Well, don't brag about doing it wrong for a hundred years. Your left hand, even on a Monday, goes in front of the reel. Yep. Always. Why? Well, first of all, this is where you got more leverage because if your hand's back here, you don't have as much leverage as, leverage as if your hand is in front of the reel. 
Second, this is a big one I never get an argument from. How do you guide your line when your hand's behind the reel? I'm just asking a question. I don't think Kareem Abdul-Jabbar's thumb is long enough to go over the top of the reel and guide the line from behind. If you don't know who Kareem is, he used to be a basketball player. He's a very tall man. Seven foot four or something. Big long thumbs. But I don't think his thumb's long enough to get over the top of the reel to guide the line. So you, your hand has to go in front of the reel. It has to. If you're doing it this way, you're doing it wrong. Stop bragging about doing it wrong. You're doing it wrong, wrong, wrong. Look at any professional fisherman. Go watch don't listen to me. Go watch Dwayne Diego fight a fish. Go watch Greg Trumpus. Go watch any sport boat captain that's been doing this longer than an hour. They all have their left hand in front of the reel and their hand on the cranker and their thumb guiding the line back and forth. But if you have your hand up there in front, you can always grab the line with your right hand, give it a little pull, make sure that the line's still pulling off the reel proper. Edwin, pull that line. He's getting a bite. Hook up, we're bit. Now the line's pulling off the reel. I'm putting a big torque in the rod, but the line's peeling off the reel still, so I know it feels good. I'm giving it a little pull. Yeah, yeah, it's still coming off the reel. Maybe it's a little too tight. I'll click it off one. Ah, I like that better. Now I know I can pull on that fish. The drag setting, you do not need a scale. You do not need to pick a bugger and eat it. What I just showed you is how you set your drag. If you don't like it to do it that way, then go find someone else to follow 